Hey guys, today I'm going to be going over uh, how to upgrade your fans in your Vapira Special 165 Reef LED. Um, the fans we're going to be using are the Fractal Design Silent Series R3 80mm fans. Um, if you're looking into fans and you're not sure which ones to get, go with these. The reason is the RPM is 1600 which brings your decibels down much lower than most other fans as most other fans are going to run around 2000 rpm uh, you don't have any <clears throat> you don't have any control with these fans when they're in the lights so you're going to want something that's full speed is lower that'll make you a quieter fan you don't need a high speed fan for these <clears throat> so first off you're going to disassemble your lights there's going to be screws along the perimeter here. Pull those apart, get the light apart, and then we'll be back with you when that's done. Okay, so as you can see here, the connectors are going to be different for your fans. So what we're actually going to have to do here is solder in the new fans. So you're going to need a soldering iron, soldering paste, all those supplies. Um, if you look up on Google, you can find a pinout diagram for three pin header fans. You want to find the power and ground wire and wire them directly in to the wiring on your light. You can use this plug, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to solder this plug onto my new fan so then I can plug them directly in. And then they're removable if I need to do maintenance. So there's going to be four screws here, um, each corner of the fan, maybe one, two, three, four. To get the fans out, just remove all four of those screws, you'll unplug this connector. You might have to remove, in this case, the battery hold down is in the way, so you'll have to undo uh, the battery hold down and pull the connector of the fan out, and then you'll have the fan released. Just on four little studs here, as you can see. So now we've got our fans removed, we're going to have to cut off the connections on these. Um, so now I'm left with just the connector itself. So on these fan headers, um, the connection goes as follows. So I don't know if I can get my camera to focus here. Okay, so if we're holding the connector like this, you can see these two tabs at the bottom here. Looking at it in this direction, on the right side is our ground, in the middle is our 12 volt, and on the left is sensor. Sensor is going to be unused. Right side ground will go to the black wire on your previous connector. The center power wire, 12 volt, will go to your red connector on your other connector. 
So we're just going to go ahead and connect those together and then we can plug the fans directly in. The third wire is unused. You can simply cut it short, put some heat shrink over it. It's just a sensor. It's for your computer to read the RPM of the fan. It is not needed in this. Okay, so once you're done, you should have something like this. Um, as you can see, I've got my red wire to the positive, black wire to the negative, and then I've taken this extra wire here, and I've just folded it over on itself and put some heat shrink over it. There's no voltage or anything coming out of that wire. Uh, it's just a small signal. So it's not going to hurt anything, but you should wrap it up anyways, just to be sure. Basically, that's how you're going to do that. Solder that up. If you don't have solder, um, you could also use um, some high quality butt connectors that have like the, uh, the shrinkable coating on them, or some butt connectors and some heat shrink over top of them. Just got to make sure with butt connectors that your wiring is secure afterwards by giving them a little tug. But yeah, now you're ready to reinstall the fans and I'll give you guys a comparison of before and after as well. Okay, so something I just want to point out here. Um, you're going to have excess wire on these fans uh, depending how long you've made it. So all you can do is you can just take the wiring and wrap it around the outside of the fan like so. And then when you place this into the light, the little studs are going to hold that wiring in place because it's going to be inside the corners there. So you're going to have a very nice neat install. For me I'm doing it like this. Place the fan in, wire is nicely wrapped around it. Neat, out of the way, not going to get caught in the fan. And you can reassemble the uh, fans like so. Okay, so now both fans are installed. You can go ahead and reassemble your lights so that everything looks like all finished up. Fans are pulling air in from the top. Cable's nicely routed. So you can go ahead and reassemble the lights, and I'll show you guys what the difference is between these fans and the original fans, it's a big difference. Okay, so here's going to be the sound comparison. The one on the left is running the new fans, the A-Fractal Designs fans. And the one on the right is running the original fans, which are quite noisy, especially when you have two or more of these running at the same time. You can see that on my old reef video that I just posted uh, yesterday. So on the right, okay, so now I'm going to shut them off individually for you. So this will be just the one with the old fans. Now we'll do just the one with the new fans. From this distance, they are completely inaudible, completely silent. As were the other one, you can hear them across the entire house. They are running. Even right here, you can't hear them at all. Completely silent. So again, we'll turn off this one. Turn on the original ones.
Okay, so that's it. Uh, anyways, hope you guys enjoy, and this works out well for you. Uh, it worked out quite well for me. Thanks for watching.